Hey, I just want to do a real quick video on uh, some of the differences between a, uh, a mill and a minute of angle. And then uh, I know there's also some confusion. You know, people are wondering what's, uh, what's the difference between a mill, an MRAD, uh, a mill rad, and a, and a mill radian. Uh, those four things are all exactly the same things. They are a mill of radian, which is one one thousandths of a radian. So then you might ask, well, what is a radian? And I just drew a little circle here to, to show you that the definition of a radian is an angle subtended from the center of a circle, which intercepts an arc equal in length to the radius. So here we have the radius. And if you take that same distance and put that out here on the circumference, this right here is one radian. A radian is uh, really close to 57.29 degrees. Uh, you know, it's not exact because we're dealing with pi, so we're going to use some approximates there. And then if you split that radian into a thousand pi pieces, a, a thousand equal slices, each one of those is a milliradian, also called a mil, an MRAD, or a milrad. Same thing. So I think everybody's familiar with, uh, you know, more familiar with the minutes of the angle because. 360 degrees, each degree, if you split that into 60 equal parts, that's one minute. So this little green line here, if you can see that, that is about one degree of angle on this, this circle. This circle has a diameter of one meter. Uh, so we got it like, I don't know, like 3 sixteenths of an inch or something like that for uh, one degree. So imagine splitting that into 60 equal parts, and that's going to be one minute of angle. So pretty... Uh, pretty small, smaller than a mill. Uh, I wrote some other facts. So there's 21,600 minutes of angle in a full circle. Um, how many mills are in a circle? About 6,283.184. And I say about because we're dealing with pi. Uh, those of you in the military, uh, we were taught you know that there's 6,400 if you go to a promotion board or even the Army Study Guide for Soldier of the Month and everything. It always says there's 6,400 mills in a circle. And that's just something that the military does to uh, standardize it for making math easier, dealing with, you know, mortars and artillery pieces and stuff like that. So, you know, the board, the board answer is 6,400, but in reality, 6,283 approximately mills in a circle. Okay, so we have this radian here, 57.29 degrees. And uh, there's also been some uh, discussion about how many, how many uh, minutes of angle are in one mill. And I got in a, a discussion with a, a world champion shooter who insisted that there were 3.6 minutes of angle in one mill. And uh, I'm like, no, actually there's there's 3.437. And he was adamant that there's 3.6. And I, I think I know where that confusion comes from uh, because one mil at 100 yards is 3.6 inches. So I guess that, you know, everybody thinks that, you know, one minute of angle at 100 yards is exactly one inch. And it's pretty close, but it's not exactly. It's actually... 1.047 inches at 100 yards. So, but we know that it's exactly 3.6 inches at 100 yards for one mil because whatever, that's the nice thing about using mills is whatever distance you are from the target or whatever, uh, a mill is going to be one one thousandth of that distance. So, what is 100 yards uh, in inches? That would be uh, 36 inches in a yard. 36 times 100 is 3,600. So one one thousandths of 3,600 is 3.6. Uh, same way, if you're at 1,000 meters, then a mil is exactly one meter. Uh, I, you know, like, like I said, we're dealing with pi lots, so there's some approximates, but those are those are exact numbers. So. Uh, mill is always going to be one one thousandth of the distance you are to that target. That's going to be one mil. So it's 
it's actually pretty easy math. I know a lot of scopes are starting to go to, towards the one-tenth of uh, MRAD adjustments and going slowly going away from the minutes at angle. Uh, in the military, you know, more, most people are more familiar with the mills. Civilians tend to be more familiar with uh, uh, minutes of angle. Another thing that I've heard people say is that, you know, I don't understand metric. You know, I'm American. I use the imperial system. I'm using minutes of angle. Well, minutes of angle is not imperial and mills are not metric. Um, you know, even in Europe, they use 360 degrees in a circle and 60 minutes in a degree. Uh, it's not it's not metric. Now, if you're doing your ranging in meters versus yards, then like I said, a mill is one one thousandth of that distance, whether it's a thousand yards, you know, or a thousand meters. So they're not metric or imperial, um, but the mills can be a little bit easier to use for when you're making adjustments on a scope if you if you have that scope and, and the math is tends to be a little bit easier uh, and you can convert stuff to you know you know inches and feet and stuff like that that's not a problem all right so one radian split into a thousand sections is a mill or an m rad or a mil rad or a miller radian it's all the same thing i just wanted to point out what exactly a radian is and it's this area right here, 57.29 degrees of angle on this arc when you subtend the radius out here on the circumference. Radian split into a thousand equal pieces, milliradian. Um, you know, and if somebody wants to do the math uh, and argue that there's actually 6,400 mils in a circle and not 6,283, it's real easy to, uh, to prove that. If you just take a circle, say the circle is, uh, you know, 2,000 uh, meters in diameter, right? So that's 1,000 meters radius. All you have to do then is, okay, if it's, if it's the radius is 1,000 meters, we already know that one mil is exactly one meter at 1,000. One mil is one meter at 1,000 meters, okay? So we know that. So now tell me how many... How many meters are in the circle? You know, using pi, 3.141592, and you're going to come up with 6,283.184 meters in that circle that has a diameter of 2,000 meters, radius of 1,000 meters. So that is, uh, oh, another thing uh, that we can prove that there's only 3.437 minutes of angle in a mil and not 3.6 like some people insist. Um, we know that a radian is 57.29 degrees. So you can, multi you can instantly determine how many minutes of angle that is by multiplying by 60. We know there's 60 minutes in each degree, so 57.29 times 60 is going to be 3,437.4. So if you divide that by a thousand, right? Because there's a thousand mils in here. Divide that by a thousand, you're gonna get, just move the decimal point two places, you're gonna get 3.437. 3.437 minutes of angle in one mil. Um, all right, I think uh, that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any uh, questions, hit me up.